Hi, and welcome back to Prime Property. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are on location doing a tour of homes with Realty Executives. And this home is yet another waterfront home on our tour. Today we're here with Randy Anderson to tell you about it. Well, we're in what would be referred to as the Galva section of Ascension Parish, uh, just off Highway 42. It's a little private lane called Dana Road. Mm -hmm. um, not far from the Ameet. In fact, the property backs up to the Ameet River. Uh, 2.65 acres. House is back probably a couple of football fields, maybe a little more from the road, so secluded back here. Mm -hmm. uh, real nice location. The way it's secluded, it's uh, 2.65 acres, but it's a, a more, there's more than an acre and three quarters, I guess, in front of the house. So it's set back, and then there's another acre or so behind the house. So um, it's, uh, you, you get the feeling that you're in the country, really, when you're here. Definitely in the country. This is what we mean by setback from the road. We're coming up Dana Drive from 42, and you can see that the home isn't just set back from the road, it is well screened by trees and landscaping. The drive is both gravel and concrete, winding through all that pretty landscaping up to the home and a large parking area and carport on the side of the home. The house is Acadian style, but built on a slab, featuring a 50-foot front porch and metal lifetime roof. Randy, tell us more about the house. It's 2,518 square foot of living area, mm -hmm. five bedrooms and three full baths. There are actually three bedrooms, including the master, on the ground floor, mm -hmm. it's a story and a half, basically, uh -huh. and uh, two bedrooms and a bath, up, full bath upstairs. The bath upstairs has a shower, not a tub, okay. but uh, very convenient for family life or for people that have a lot of guests over to come visit. When you, when you back up to water, people tend to come, want to come over and visit. There's lots of comfort features on the outside and the inside of this home. And a lovely fireplace on the inside as well. Yes, yeah, real wood burning fireplace, so it makes for a nice entertainment. We don't get to use them much in Louisiana, but everybody likes to have one. Mm -hmm. Now the best feature of this home, if you ask me, and my mama, is all the landscaping out here. I mean, there is some gorgeous stuff out here. It was really important to the owners. Uh, they have an uh, irrigation system that treats all the, all the spots that have landscaping that makes make sure they're watered well so you don't have to go around with the hoses and so forth. Excellent. He has a little fenced-in garden area for somebody that wanted to raise vegetables, which is what he did, mm -hmm. or, or flowers or whatever, and uh, of course the, the fencing keeps the critters out if you raise vegetables. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, it's really nice to have that there, um, and it's on the way back to the lagoon that separates the property from the Amy River. That's right. The, probably, I, I've kind of speculated that maybe the river went that way at one time probably. years ago, mm -hmm. but uh, there is a lagoon behind the house that basically serves as kind of like a pond for the house, uh -huh. but the property does go all the way to the Amy River, so if someone wanted to, the boating aspect of being on the Amy River, it's or, a possibility. Or then. the entertainment aspect of having a, you know, a, a spot back there, screened in spot to entertain back there. That mm -hmm. is a possibility. But still plenty of buffer in case that water starts to rise. I mean, there's plenty of land in between here and the water. That's right. And we spoke about being secluded from the noise on the highway, uh -huh. but you're also secluded on weekends. It can be kind of noisy on that river. Absolutely. So I know some people that back right up to the river have, you know, that can be upsetting on the weekends. Absolutely. Now, um, and the location where we are, too, if you are interested in doing the boating aspect of it, we're not far from Fred's and all that kind of stuff. Just, I mean, it's just right there down, down the river. Absolutely. Yeah, so a great, great spot. And this home has tons of great features. Randy, show us some of the things that this house offers. Yeah, we're standing here in the carport because I wanted to show one of the features of this house. It's probably as outstanding as any of the features for people that are accustomed to South Louisiana. We have, our electricity goes off from time to time. We have a hurricane. It can be for an extended time. And this house features a hard installed uh, uh, natural gas generator that gets natural gas so you don't have to come out and go to, go to the grocery store and find somebody that's got gas or whatever and it's wired in where you just turn a switch inside the house. It's not large enough to run the whole house, but it will run the freezer the, the, and save your food, the refrigerator, and small air conditioner if you need to do it if we have an extended outage. Yeah, we're standing on that screened in porch we talked about, and I, I'd ask you, the viewer, as a prospective buyer, where you'd rank this. I keep saying this is one of the best features about this house, but I'd like you to say that 27 feet by 8 feet of screened in porch, looking out over this uh, wonderful backyard, wouldn't be wonderful. And because of the way the house is sitting, uh, we're actually facing almost directly north off the screened-in porch. So even in the evening or the morning, you don't have direct sunlight. You're always in the shade with the trees on either side. And it, it's comfortable for morning coffee or even just sitting out here, even having a table out here and, and eating and looking back over toward the lagoon. I think this might be the best feature of the house. The home itself has five bedrooms and three full bathrooms. 
and the bedrooms are very spacious. And even though the home has over 2,500 square feet of living area, the house itself is very energy efficient. Now, how does somebody get in touch with you if they want to come out and tour this home? Well, certainly they can call me. My cell phone is 225-921-9777. I'm available. We work all the time, six and a half days a week. There you go. And they can give me a call. I love coming out to this house. Absolutely. Now, if you have any questions about any of the homes you've seen on the show today, you can always go to our website at www.primepropertytv.com. We'll have this home plus the others we've seen with Realty Executives, all the information, phone numbers, and that good stuff. And we've got more homes for you coming right up.